keep mentally strong. That's a wrap. Good morning. We are off to London today. Uh, we're getting some B-roll of a uh, of Prince. The motivational video is going to be amazing. And um, so we're just getting some B-roll. So we're, we're just driving a couple hours to London. We're gonna go shoot this B-roll and then go back to the studio and that's it. We just need some more shots for the video. Um, so yeah, process today is filming Mark Prince. Let's go. This is gonna be Joe's first time on a camera. So Joe's gonna be on the Red Raven. Well, he's used, he's used the GH5 a few times, but it'll be the first time filming uh, B-roll. So I'm gonna set the settings up and then Joe is just gonna be nailing the focus and the zoom um and yeah it should be quite good so boxing gym i'm gonna have the easy rig on and i'm gonna have the red dragon um a lot of slow motion work it helps fill the videos up when it's in slow motion obviously we need to get some real time stuff but prince has got an injury so slow motion is going to work really well because he's not going to have to throw super heavy hits uh, we don't want him hurting himself so anyway off we go <laughs> So here we are on set, we are at the Selby Centre, which is a boxing gym. Uh, Joe's here. I've, Joe's got this camera here. I have got this camera here on the trusty old overhead rig. And in the van, we've got Prince, Mark Prince, and we are going to go film him train in a sec. So let's go. <laughs> to be the boss. Mark, you always got that energy? Well, creating, yeah. I don't always have it. I create it. Okay, so this is the gym and it's super cinematic. I don't know if it's going to come across on camera. It will on these cameras, but I don't know about this little one, but yeah, really cinematic. Ring centered in the center of the building. The uh, Selby gym. First time on the cameras, Joe, how are you feeling? Me. Excited? Yeah, I am. It's, it's harder than I first expected to be fair, but I think once I get the movement control, the movements and the more control, uh, this is better now. So yeah, Joe's using the 70 to two, uh, 200 mil Canon lens, which is really far zoomed in. I've got him at 200 mil at the moment because I wanted to pick him some nice portraits up because we've got this lovely backlight up here. Um, so yeah, he's in that. It's at 75 frames a second, so it's a little bit forgiving on the movement. So it should be good. Um, but yeah, it's quite a hard lens to use straight away. Quite a hard lens to use. That's a wrap. Oh, we do like a, we run a little vlog alongside this. You got any words for the for the vlog? I mean, your energy's been amazing today, so. Oh, I've got, I've got too many words for the vlog, but let's just keep it real. We all know what's going on right now. We all know how there's so much anxiety, so much stress. People talking about money issues. You know, they're worried about family. People are dying right now. We're losing people. I want to encourage you. Live, love and forgive. This is the way forward, guys. For you to be able to remember your family members, remember your friends in the best life, is the way you can remember them and leave a legacy. It's the way you treat other people, it's the way you love other people, and the way you forgive other people. Your loved ones are gonna live on through you. For the ones that are stressed about financial stuff and situations, what are you solving by stressing? You might as well give up and say whatever will be, will be. But I'm gonna do everything in my power to not allow myself to go down. Keep mentally strong. If you keep speaking positiveness, if you keep acting upon that positivity, you're gonna get positive results. Two plus two makes more, it makes four. I love that. Okay, remember that, yeah? But if you start taking away, you're gonna get less. So the more stress and anxiety you're bringing in, the more negative thoughts you're allowing to go round in your head, 
that's going to be taken away from what you need for this journey. You need your positiveness. If that's all you got, then run with that. If you got no money, but you got integrity, run with that. If you got no money, but you got love, run with that. Don't let stress, worry, and anxiety steal your joy. Give love, forgive. Boom. That's it. Go follow Mark, man. His energy is crazy. Go Easy. follow him. Yes. We're off. We're packing up. Joe can't help himself. Joe's doing a bit of boxing. That was Joe's first shoot on the camera too. Another project filmed. We're on the way back. Joe's driving us today, uh, which is nice for a change. And he's chalking it down. Look at that. If you want to tune in for next week, we're going to be fly maybe flying in a plane. Very sketchy situation, but I'll do it. So just for you guys, we'll do it for the vlog. We're going to go back to the studio and going to get some food and then do a quick workout. So catch us there. Let's go. Mac and cheese. Like, Shout out to Tom Stoltman, really Tommy boy. I got some mac and cheese. This is for uh, Tom Stoltman. Just getting mac and cheese in my face because of Tom. It's 5 a.m. Let's go. So I was struggling to work out this morning. I was struggling to get working out. And then I realized what top I had on. Yeah, no excuses. So let's go. Know that you was here in the earlys, and you gets was it earlys that you you gets here. She's not working out. She just and then this guy with it. There you go. Can't get rid of him. Yeah, uh, yeah, I didn't really get up early. I just never went to sleep. Right. Okay. So we are now off to Leicester uh, with. Joe on the camera. Uh, how are you feeling, Joe? I'm feeling really good, actually. Yeah. So that, George, cool story. We're going to film and do CrossFit, then we're going to do an interview, and I'll just show you a little snippet of that day. Uh, we're outside the Mullingham Studio. If anyone is interested in what goes on inside, drop a comment below. I might do a tour of the studio. Uh, we had a good response on the post yesterday on Instagram. And if you haven't already, go follow us on Instagram. Anyway, let's go. Right, so um, we're just pulling up to the gym. So it's a nice quick drive. And it's somewhere around here. So we're here. Yeah, just shooting some B-roll just, just before these guys get going. Just to get the setting of the gym. Uh, it's always, you can do it afterwards anyway, but it's good if you've got a bit of free time, just get some, get your cameras going, check your cameras are all good, shoot some B-roll. Just getting some B-roll, like John, I think John's just mentioned. Get used to the cameras, uh, and also you just don't know what you're going to shoot when the you know they're setting up. So you just want to make sure you get something, and it just gets you used to you know filming stuff.
also, when you've got a setup and you've got to, you've got to work fast and find the shots, you want to go seeking for cinematic spots. You want to go seeking somewhere that you really like and find that first. So I found a really nice spot, so I'm going to try and capture this shot. Battery switch, but I'm trying to create like a narrative. Yeah. So of this workout, you've got a huge list of um, little white marks on here that I've just noticed. And each time he finishes a round, he rubs one of them out. So I'm really trying to capture that for the film. Look at it now, like, it's just effort, isn't it? So that's what we're trying to capture, really. So now we're going into, so we're doing a lot of slow motion, uh, which is great for B-roll. But you always want to capture what's going on, so we're going to get some sound now and some real fast stuff because it's, it's fast work, so that's what we're going into now. So we've been filming the, um, the CrossFit session, first session I've ever filmed. Um, really interesting, these guys are athletes. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping we've got the good footage, you don't really... You think you've got it, but then when you get to the editing room, you know if you've got a nice shot or not. Goosebumps, remember that's the measure of success of a video, goosebumps. 